Hi guys and uh, welcome to We Were There Too. It's a co-op player game and I'm playing with my son and uh, we've just come into this room in the Arctic or somewhere in the snow. Okay, what do we do now? Step one, panic. Ah! What's in your room? Um, okay, I'm looking around. What kind of room are you in? Describe your surroundings. It's vaguely sort of square, or but it's got two kind of um, uh, hemispheres on the left and right side, and there's kind of like an altar in the middle and a coffin behind it, and a coffin up the top by the altar. Over. Okay, um, I'll describe my surroundings. It sounds like we're in very different places then. Oh, okay. So, um, I'm in what looks like a hallway, um, with some tombs. I've got lots of coffins in, like, holes in the walls. And one thing that I just want, you might see something similar, is there are symbols above all of these little insects into the walls. So, uh... There are lots of different symbols all over the place, and we may need to sort of coordinate on them. I can't see symbols at the moment, but I have got lots and lots of rings. As in uh, rings that you would tie a boat to. You've got them in your inventory? No, on the walls. Over. Okay, I've got, I've, I've, there are two locked doors where I am, and as I say, lots of coffins, and nowhere apparently for me to go, so I think, yeah, what, what, what does the objective look like in your room? Is there a, an exit or something? Yeah, I've got one locked door, and at my feet here, I've got two jugs, or ewers, and I've got a plate, or, um, and a, a kind of a light. They look like they're pick upable. Okay. Doesn't seem to be anything pick upable in this room. As I say, all I've got are the lots of coffins, spooky lights, and weird symbols um, over the insects. Lots and lots of symbols, but no apparent context to any of them. Yeah, they're not pick upable. They just look like they might be, but they, I can't seem to pick them up. Um, but like I say, loads of ring pulls, candles. Uh, there's some barrels which are not interactable, and I've got a grating, and I've also got a little bit of water that I can walk in behind. Oh, yeah. Ooh, uh, development on this end. I don't know what it means, but I've just looked through some grating on the floor into what looks like a little, um, hidden, uh, uh, sewer system. And I can see three symbols on the far wall, and they look like they correspond to symbols in this room, so I'm just going to start poking stuff and see what happens. Okay, these symbols I can't see unless I'm just not recognising them. Well, I wondered if this was going to be symbols on your side that tell me what to do, or vice versa, but I can see, I can see, I can see them here, so I'll see what happens. Hang on! <laughs> Something obvious that I missed. I just pressed a lever. Ah, do you know what that did? No, I was hoping you might be able to tell me. <laughs> I pressed it twice now. Fair enough, okay. Well, nothing's changed on this side. It doesn't stay down, though. 
but it has a red light on it over. That's the only thing that I can interact with. The only things that I can interact with are these symbols. Um, I can find one of the three symbols in the sewer. I can find one of them repeated twice and the other two don't exist anywhere. So honestly, I'm at a complete loss of what to do. Well, my, um, my handle has a kind of a red as a poker glowing handle to it. And it looks slightly like a mushroom head. Yeah. I see the symbols. Yes, you're going to have to tell me what your symbols are. Ah, okay. I, yeah, I figured it would be something like... Do you need to, like, enter symbols in or something? I have three, um... I have three in a row, uh, kind of a, almost like a lock thing like you get on a bike, and I've got to enter in symbols. And by the way, um, leave the uh, radio on just for a fraction of a second after you s s stop talking so I hear everything you say. Over. Ah, okay, sorry, yes, I've been letting go rather quickly. Uh, over. Okay, tell me the symbols. Oh. Okay, so the first one looks like a wine glass. The thing, yeah, just a wine glass. Can't really think of how to describe it. I've got that. It has a sort of a bulbous bottom, doesn't it? Uh, it it looks like the just a, a two little stick bottom to the wine glass. Sorry, yes, I meant the cup part was kind of round, and uh, then there's another like half a, a hemisphere on top of it. Yeah, I've got that one. Great. The second one is the letter A with a little thing on the top of it. I've got that too. Okay, this next one is... Uh, it's a, a squiggly backwards J. With a kind of um, a circle with a cross in the middle of the top and it looks like it's in a bath. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, well, I've pressed my lever and I'm going to see if anything's happened. Okay, I'm hanging on here. Oh, you've opened the door on this side. Yay! I like this. Oh, lordy. Oh dear, that bad is it? Oh okay, dear. I found a book and on the wall there's another switch. Okay, so you've got a switch now and you found a hook or a book? Uh, a book on a pedestal, an open book. Um, hang on, I'll describe, I'll pull the lever first and then I'll, I'll worry about what's in the book second. Okay, the lever is pulled. I don't see anything else. Has anything happened on your side? Not that I can see. Okay, right. Well, um, the light was flashing intermittently on the on the the switch, but when I lifted it up, it was down originally. I lifted it up, and now it's a continuous light. I don't know if that means anything. The only thing that I can interact with now is the door, and it's still locked, so nothing's happened in here that I can see. OK, uh, I'm having a look at the book. Uh, there's writing in it that I can't make out. It's too small. I don't know if I'm intended to be able to read that. Uh, but what I can see is an illustration of three coffins stacked on top of one another. I wonder if I have to do this switch again. I doubt it. What do you think? 
certainly can't hurt. Uh... You don't have three more uh, symbols, do you? I'm looking around the room I'm in now, and no, it's a very small room that, uh, that the door opens to. Hang on, if I get really close to my screen, I'll actually read the contents of the book. I have a feeling it's going to be relevant. Uh, shall I just go ahead with that? Yeah, go ahead. You do whatever you need to do. I'm still looking around to see if there's anything I've missed. Over. Okay, I'll try and make this out, but it's incredibly small writing, so bear with me. 19th of June, something, something, six. In these coffins, my three beautiful children lay forever at rest. My biggest fear is that my remaining two daughters will join them soon. How those... In those heavenly lands, after the death of her dear betrothed Vladimir and our beloved Jamie? It's okay, I got all that. Instant herself from even more her father. Jesus, it's joined up handwriting and it's incredibly small. Uh, I don't think there's anything useful in that. No, it doesn't sound like there's a clue, but uh, we'll carry on looking. There's nothing else I can activate here. I suppose what I, yeah, that, that explains why there are three coffins around this bigger hallway I'm in, and two inlets with no coffins in. Don't forget I've got three coffins in my room. Okay. There is something that looks vaguely like a handprint on my coffins. Do you have that? Oh, I'll check that. I don't see any handprints, sorry. Okay, uh, just below the cross, um, if you do have a cross on your coffin, there's something that looks like somebody's just keyed um, like a fork, a tine, underneath it. Strange. No, all, all of my coffins are sort of laid lengthwise in these inlets. I can't really get to the ends of them. Okay, mine are in different positions. One lying down, one um, upright, and one on the altar. What I'm curious about is what that switch I pulled did. Yeah, I mean, maybe I wasn't in the right place to see what happened. Try it again. I can't unpull it, unfortunately. That was permanent, so check if anything even very... In the room, you're... I'm looking around, I can't see anything. However, I'm not very observant. I'll be honest, I, I, I sort of expected something a bit more action-packed from the, uh, the trailer for this game. <laughs> I am bloody awful at escape rooms, and I think this proves it. No, no, I'm interested. It's, it's taking longer, but I'm interested in this. So, the symbols above the inlets is still something that hasn't really been solved on my side. Because, um... Okay, I'll, I'll just describe them as I see them. So yeah, three coffins and inlets. The symbol over one is what looks like, um... A tree chart. It looks like, well, a stick man holding up two basketballs. 
the other one looks like a river, it's just a squiggly line with other lines around. Two empty inlets, which is quite interesting, are the wine glasses, the first symbol that I told you. Both of them. Yeah, I heard that. Um, the river with the uh, squiggles, has it, is it like an S with four um, diagonal, you know, forward slashes? Yes, exactly that. I can't find the stick, man. Can you describe that again? Um, OK, it looks like... Uh, um, it's two uh, pitchforks stuck end to end, so... Yeah, it's like a, a stick man with three legs, let's put it that way. Um, and he's got just three circles at the top, so it looks like his head in the middle and holding two. It's I've got that, but on the end. Yes, on the end, I've got that. I wish I knew what any of it meant, though. You said three symbols, though. Three symbols? How many symbols have you got, then? Well, there's lots of them all over the place. So there are one, hang on, inlets with coffins. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six... Something's happened. What's that? Something's happened. I've pressed my, um... Uh... I, I followed your advice on the symbols, and I pulled my lever, and now I can't pull it again, so I'm going to have a look at my door. Oh, OK. Is that not...? Oh. No! I see! What's up? I can pull it again, but something's happened to my symbols. Hold on, I'm just checking something out. No, nope, nothing seems to be making any sense here. in the whole room. So there's nothing I can actually do with them other than look at them. Uh, well, perhaps if you tell me them again, um, how many are there altogether? So, uh, I thought there were eight, but it looks like the starting area has some very small ones, and I don't think they count, we don't have symbols over. So, the ones with symbols over, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six in a line. No, they're just spread out in this hallway. Can they be... I've got three symbols here on my lock thing. Can they be grouped into threes? Uh, there's more than three different symbols on the six. Should I just list them off and explain what's in the inlet to see if there's any pattern? Well, yeah, if there's anything you can interact with, do. Well, I can't interact. So far, I can just describe what's around me. So two inlets are empty and have wine glasses over them. Another inlet, empty, and has the river, the S with the four lines. This 
Also, the inlet has a coffin and a turtle with the letter T coming out of his bum. Another, in, uh, another inlet again with a and with an S with squiggle. Hold on, hold on. Something must have happened. I've had an achievement come up. Yeah, me too. I was following your... Um... Ah, oh, the door's yeah. open. <laughs> Did you do anything? My door's open. I've got a book now. Oh my god! <laughs> what happened? The music changed. Oh, Hello, some. Can you hear me? Sorry, yes, I wasn't pressing when I was talking. I'm in a different room and the music's changed. Yeah, me too. Did you did you do anything to open the door? I pulled the lever with three symbols that you told me about. Was that all, the, all that needed to be done? Apparently so. Okay, well, if you can see anything close to what I can see, it's a big old temple in the middle of a big old... I'm in a kind of an octagonal room. I, um, with a great big, like, uh, thing on the floor in the middle that you can stand on with a huge... Um, octagon on it, and I'm lighting candles around. Ah, you see candles around it, do you? That's convenient. I've got a book here with candles on the illustration that shows them numbered. Oh yeah, they're going out! <laughs> Maybe I have to put them, light them in a certain um, uh, order. You do indeed. Okay, um, right, so we've got six candles. That's correct. Best way for me to sort of describe which one to light first. I'm just going to turn down um, the music a little bit. Give me a moment because I'm having trouble hearing you. Okay. I think that's better. Yeah, I turned you. D I turned the game volume down a bit as well myself. Okay, the access to the area where the candles are um, has two sets of steps with three candles on either side, but they're all in a ring. Anyway. Are you saying the six candles aren't together? They are together, they're in a ring, um, a kind of a, well, there's six of them, so it's a, uh, what is that again? Oh, hept it's not a heptagon, you saw, you, you tell me. Um, and um, there's two sets of steps coming down between two candles on opposite sides. Right. All I've got here is an illustration of six candles and the order in which to light them. Go ahead, I'll figure it out. Well, okay, um, I'm going to come at this from a clock perspective. So we've got six candles, 12 is north, is the, the top one, right? Okay. I don't know how well that's going to work, because it's not going to work out exact, but... Uh, okay, so the first one is bottom right. So, yeah, no, the clock thing isn't going to... 10 past, 20 past, 10, 2 and 22. OK, perfect, that works. 20 past is number one. OK. 10, 2 is number two. OK. Half past is number three. Okay. Twenty two is number four. Okay. Ten past is number five. And I assume twelve o'clock or whatever. Yes, that's the last one. I 
I think I pressed something wrong just at the last minute, so hold on. Do you have any symbols there? I can have a scout around. The room I'm in is enormous, so, uh, yeah. Am I looking for anything in particular? No, it's okay. I'll try... I'll try these, um... Uh, I'll try these candles again. I pressed interact when I wasn't at the candle, so I think I buggered it up. So, let's try that again. That's fine. Let me know when you're ready to go. Ready! Okay. Candle number one is 20 past. Okay, just say them in order and I'll get them. Next is 10 2. Okay. Next is half past. Okay. 22. Okay. Ten past. That's strange. It didn't light. Maybe, maybe I've got the wrong one as my um, indicator. Yeah, it's difficult to know if we're looking at them from the same direction, of course, because they could be in any arrangement. I figured something out. Bear with me. It's all right. Twenty past. Ten two. Half past. Ten past. Yeah, I've lit them. Okay. Or maybe not. Well, while you've been working on that, I've had a wander around and I might have found something, so uh, let me know. Give, give me the directions again. Okay, uh, directions again. Uh, just quick fire. Quick fire, yeah. 20 past, and then 10 to... Then half past, then 22. Then 10 past, and then mid. 12. Yes! Music just changed dramatically. I think you did it well. Okay, my carpet has lit up. Make of that what you will. Um, nothing's changed in here, but the music is a lot more interesting, so uh, I'm not, I don't know what to expect now. Well, I've got a sort of a map on a carpet hanging on the wall. Ah, is there a symbol? And is there the colour red or blue on this carpet? There are two carpets. One is red and has symbols inside circles. The other is blue and has symbols inside diamonds. Yes, I see that on this side as well, but they're sort of wall drapes that I can't interact with. Yeah, um, I don't know about um, interacting with, but are yours lit up? Yes, they're glowing. Okay, um, are they the same symbols that are glowing? Uh, the one in the sort of middle and the one on the left? The whole symbol is glowing for me, so everything on the red, you know, the symbol in the circle is the whole thing's glowing, and in the blue, the symbol in the di diamond, they're all glowing for me. Well, I've only got two glowing. The big circle, I don't know if mine is the same as yours, there's four, there's three, then four, then 
two small circles and one big circle. Uh, no, it sounds like we've got different red symbols then, because I've got a, a circle with a whole mess of crap in the middle of it. I couldn't even begin to describe that. Fair enough. What's lit up on my circle one is a circle with a cross in it. I can see the circle with a cross in it. Yeah, that's part of this thing. I'm not sure what that means, but that's the one that's lit up on my drape. I'm trying to poke it, nothing's happening. Uh, yeah, there's no interaction option here with these symbols. Okay, um, while we're working this out, as I say, while you were having a look around, I started trying all of the doors. There are like 30 doors in this room I'm in, all of them locked, except one of them opened. So um, I'll just describe the contents of the room I found if I have. Okay. We've got another book with incredibly small, incomprehensible writing in it, which is quite annoying. But it shows candles, it shows a septogram, no, hexagram, whatever you'd call it. Oh, it's a diary. Now, nah, screw that noise. Uh, I've got loads of books as well. On the wall, a flashing thingy. What's a flashing thingy? Sorry, there's a flashing light on a switch on the wall. I'm going to pull the switch, if that's all right with you. Yeah, please. Switch pulled. Anything happens on your side? Hold on, I've got a book here, and it says... Are you okay to wait for, to uh, listen whilst I tell you? Yeah, go for it. Dear B, I have never been as happy in my life than the moment I met you, and I am honoured to receive your love in exchange. I wish I could be with you forever, and the promise of your eternal love is very thrilling, but the sacrifice is too great. I cannot let you get go through get through with this. I cannot let you destroy that strong, pure heart of yours. I hope you would understand the things I have done to keep you from making this big mistake. I want you to remember me as I was on that summer night in the Rose Gardens. I want you to remember I will always love you and I want you to remember I will always be with you even when I am not in this earthly world anymore. Love you forever. And then there's um, like, I don't know if it's a torn page. No, I don't think it is. It's just, it looks like a mountain range. <laughs> just drawn at the bottom. Anyway, that's it. Okay, uh, so the author's name was whipped off before we could find out, I think. Possibly. Well, in any case, it doesn't sound like that's useful. I, I think it's like um, expositional fluff, if I'm honest. Well, I can actually come off the book now. I'm running around the room and there's nothing I can do. There's a door here that's locked. There's another door that's locked. Yeah, two, total two doors here that should open, but aren't at the moment. The rest are all decorative. I've managed to get off the book. I think that was one of the puzzles. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've been stuck with that. Uh, you just press escape uh, works for me, anyway. That's what I did. So, did you notice anything change when I pulled that switch on the wall? Not yet. Uh, the writing in the book that I found seems to be some kind of occult ritual. Lighting the right candles, standing in the thingy, standing in the great big uh, gothic gazebo. Go ahead, what's this about standing in the gothic gazebo? It might be what I've got here. Oh no, um, 
So, the, the first book that I mentioned that shows where all the candles are supposed to, how they're supposed to be lit, is right in front of the centerpiece of this room, which is a big, spooky looking gazebo in the middle of a big room. What I've got in, in the middle of the candles, because I'm in a ring, is a sort of a ring with a, with an octagon uh, drawn in the middle. I'm wondering, do I need to walk in and out of the doors on the gazebo in some sort of order? Do you reckon that's what this is about? How many doors are there on this gazebo and do they have any um, symbols on? There are six and they have no symbols that I can see. It's just, yeah, just a thing that doesn't seem to be doing anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight symbols here on this octagon. Uh, no, I don't see. I don't see anything as eight options. As I say, uh, I, I think the gazebo is. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna. That's not a solution to anything. But eight. That's interesting. I think it's something to do with these drapes and the fact that there are... It looks like there are things we have to do. Okay, sure. Um, as I say, I've got uh, two drapes. Both have symbols on them, rather complex symbols, and the whole of them is glowing on, on both. He. Don't really know what to do with these drapes. Um, like I say, the symbol on the uh, the red drape is inside cir two circles. I'm at the red drape. All I see is one big circle, and as I say, inside it, a very complex symbol. I've got the best way, it's kind of like a diamond with lots of lines intersecting. Imagine, okay, imagine a triangle, right? And imagine around that um, a pentagon, five-sided figure. And on top of the pentagon, another kind of roof. So you've got a lot of little um, intersecting lines there. Is this on the red or the blue drape. I'm on the red drape now. Do you have anything there that has a symbol, excuse me, a symbol with um, a circle with a cross in it? Yeah, I've got what looks like um, a rotated Georgian cross, a cross on the bottom of yeah, a big thing, but it doesn't sound like they're the same symbols to you and me. I don't know. On the um, on the green drape, in exactly the same place, it's difficult to explain, but I can do it if you've got the time. Um, there is, uh, and the best way I can describe this is a, hor um, a horizontal line, very small, really, but with an uptick um, and a downtick. The uptick at the start and the downtick at the end. Hang on, a green drape? Blue drape, did I say green? Sorry. Oh, sorry, yeah, no, no worries, yeah, uh, blue. Yeah, uh, hmm. Okay, the blue symbol for me looks like a merman with triangles for hands. And he's just, he's, he's floating out of the water and he's got triangle hands. Yeah, I've got nothing like that on here, but it's possible that if you put them all together, it might make yours. Quite possibly, because the red symbol is a W with circles on the outermost points. 
Then it's intersected by two lines, then another line with two E's, but one E is backwards, and at the very bottom of it is that rotated Georgian cross. So maybe if they're all smooshed together, it'd be what you'd... Hold on, I can interact with it. You can? Yeah, okay. You're going to have to describe it to me so I can build it. Um, on top of the Georgian Cross is what? Are we talking about the red or blue now? Talking about the red and try and keep it to small bits. You see, I've got an arrow and, uh, and a tiny little cross on top of it. Does that go on top of the Georgian Cross or does something else? At the very bottom of the symbol is the Georgian Cross. And then, we, and then uh, directly above that, there's a line going from it to the very top of the symbol, and there are things intersecting that. Describe the bottom as it sort of sits on the cross. Remember, I've got a lot of symbols, and I'm building yours. OK, uh, imagine an upside-down Christian cross and then at the very bottom of it, so, you know, the bottom of the Antichrist symbol, is the Georgian cross. On the left and right side of it are E's. So one of the E's is backwards. On the left, it's a backwards E, and on the right, it's the proper E. Is that... OK, hold on. Hold on. I need to ask you something. Right. I think it's giving me choices. And uh, you said an upside-down cross. That seems to be the basis of this symbol, yeah. OK, what I need to know is, are there, is there any kind of arrow shape on the body of... in the middle. There are no arrows, no triangles anywhere on the red symbol. I think I might be able to uh, describe it in a relatively simple way, if that helps. Uh, it's okay. I've been trying to figure out how to make it connect. I've also been pressing the wrong button. Right. <laughs> I've got. Um, I've got. Coming up from the uh, circle with the X. Yeah. Hello. Oh. Sorry. Uh, yes, I'm here. I can't talk when you're talking. Sorry. Yes. Getting confused. I've got um, an upright line. And I've got a little line and a bigger line crossing it. Yes, that's perfect. So what's next? OK, on the sides of this upside-down uh, Christian cross, you've got, like, little E's. Have you got those? an option for that? Yep, got those. Great, the final part of this symbol is the very top. So it's uh, the letter U, the uniform, and little circles on the ends of the U. Is there, um, does the line go up past the bottom of the U at all? Yes, it does. That seems to be it, but I don't know what it does. Nothing's happened on this side. OK, let's build the, the blue one. Okie doke. I think you've got... The red one sounds like you've got it perfectly, so let's, let's jump on this. Right, what I've got at the moment is the horizontal okay. line with um, the... I'm yeah. sticking with my original description because I honestly don't know how much uh, I could uh, I could build on it. It's a merman with triangles for hands and he's floating out of the water. Tell me what options you have and we'll go from there. What I've got is just slightly below 
halfway um, I've got a slight a, a small horizontal line with an up tick and a down tick yes that's the water that the merman is sticking out of so his, his tail is a little sort of curvy J with an arrow on it below the water line I've got that yep go on Above the waterline, you've got his head, which is a circle with another smaller circle inside it, and his arms, which he... The circle with the circle inside, is it, um... Uh, <coughs> a, 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 is it like two circles, or is it a circle with a, like a dot in the middle? Sorry, yes, it's a circle with a dot in the middle. I need his hands first. His hands are triangle. Got it. Ooh, that did it. That certainly did. Okay, now things get interesting. I'm still locked in here. Uh, the gazebo's done some. Okay, so I'm in the gazebo, and inside, one, two, three, four, yep, are eight symbols. Yay, I got those. They look like Norse symbols and there's a line on the floor connecting all of them. It's not like an even star line or anything, it just seems to be randomly connecting them. Well, can you tell me uh, where to go, sort of? Uh, this time, with uh, you're going to have to go north, south, east, west, and northwest, north, do you know what I mean? You mean rather than describing the symbol? Yeah, describe the symbols, that's probably easier. Well, what's what's north for you? What's what's yeah, what's your north? Cloud with lightning coming down from it. Excellent, and we're synchronized. Okay, that's number one, which means start by going straight across to the to south. It's pressed. Both of them are pressed? Yes? Sorry, waiting for you to do the next one after south. Yes, I said uh, go south east. Is it the um, uh, line with, I don't know, just a circle on it or something? Yeah, the thing with the line through. Got it! Next go east, like a little bug or a mosquito. Got it! Then go southwest, a fat Harry Potter symbol. Got it! Then go uh, northeast, which is a, a pointy number X. Got it! Now go uh, directly west, which is the thing. Uh, I've done something wrong here. What's, what's the west one? Uh, it looks like a number eight, but with jagged lines poking out of it. Oh, I clicked that instead of the bug. Instead of the what, Zoe? The one you said was a bug. Uh, the little bug is east. The, 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 the number eight with lines coming out of it is west. 
Damn, I think I might have to start again. That's okay, no worries. Start with the lightning cloud. Hang on, I'm trying to see what happens if I can... Okay, I'm starting again. Right, lightning and south. What was that, sorry? Come again. I've done the lightning and the south. What's next? Next is southeast. The same with the line to... Okay. Now I go directly east, the next one along, which should be like a little mosquito shape. Yeah, I got mixed up and I thought Anna went west, but I'm okay now. After the mosquito, go south west, which is um, a, a very sort of large lightning symbol. Yeah, I've got that one. Then go directly across northeast, which is uh, jagged number eight. Got that. Now go to the other, the, the larger bug, the eight with the pointy bit. Got that. And uh, next one, yeah? Next one is northwest. Hey, hey, hey. Oculus culling! I don't know what that does. Okay, the, the, the cool music has stopped on my side, but I haven't seen anything different. Yeah, it's uh, changed music here as well. I'm going to see if my door's open. It's open. Okay, I need to just have a look around. Okay, I've just switched something on. I only caught the start of that story. You said you switched something. Yeah, I switched something on. You got cut off at the same time again, so I, I you switched something. I switched something on. Right, I hear you. Got you. I'm now stuck on some stairs and can't go anywhere, but I've got a cross with six symbols on it. Okay, I... Th no new information here for me. The, the gazebo is just sitting there. Uh, no door has opened on my side, so there's no more information that I can relay, sorry. Uh, I'm looking around. Do you have any shapes that you can pick up or move? None whatsoever. Uh, everything else I've got in this room is stuff that we've used to solve previous puzzles. Okay, well what's happened is I've got um, a winding staircase and when I switched something on and came up the staircase, uh, some of it gave way so there's lava at the bottom and I don't really want to jump into that. Yeah, no, good, good thinking. Uh, <laughs> that sounds. Uh... However, I have got this cross on the wall, and I'm pretty sure that what's in it, um, I have to relate to you for some reason. Okay. Well, uh, by all means, start relaying. I'll look around to see if it conforms to anything here. Well, imagine the cross as six uh, squares put together. Can you, do you see, do you know what I mean by that? Hang on, sorry to cut you off, there was a door. Do you remember I told you there were loads and loads of ornamental doors? Yeah, go on. One of them just opened, I went in and it shut behind me, so now I'm trapped in a very small tomb. I imagine there'll be something in there you can do related to the, to this cross. 
Oh, there's a whole bunch of things in this room. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, this room is filled with cubes. That makes a lot of sense, because that's what I've got here. I've got a cross made of squares. Well, okay, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cubes uh, around the room, and there's a, a platform in the middle where I'm guessing I'm going to have to put them down, and each of these cubes has lots of different symbols on them. And mine, I think, is um, a top-down view of your cubes. Great, so we just need to create a certain pattern using all these different building blocks, I take it. We have to create them in the shape of a um, Christian cross, with uh, one at the top, three underneath, one below, and another one below that. So, looking down from above, we're just creating a Christian cross, yeah? That's right. One, three, one, one. But they've all got certain symbols on them. OK, what's the very middle, then? The very middle is a triangle, but there is one very odd um, symbol on this that looks like a compass. Pointing, uh, pointing left to west. There's a compass on these cubes, but they're all pointing north. Ooh. Are you there? Hello, yes. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, um, it says we try from checkpoints. Uh, yeah. The uh, steps gave way underneath me. And I oh, fell into the lava. I see. You've got a limited time then. Possibly. Oh, Jesus. Well, that's not good because the internet... Right, well, I'm not going to go yet. <laughs> Hello, are you there? Hi, yeah, I'm at the uh, same place as before. You're on the stairs with the lab. Yeah, I'm on the stairs. I'm going up. I haven't switched the thing on yet, though. Yeah, hold off on that. OK, I'm at the ornamental Strange. door that opened up. Um, it, yeah, it looks like the timer starts when you end up on the step. Okay, well, whatever's happening, here's... It's the same as before, but the, um... The, the things are different. The compass is one below the middle now. So you can see the symbol that I need to build, right? Yes, it's still a Christian cross. It's got a pentagon at the top. Ah, a different door has opened. A different ornamental door. Sorry, I was looking for the same one, but it's because there's a bloody load of doors around. Okay, once I step into this room, I think the timer starts because the music did get very ominous. Okay, well, I think you should start building these things quick. I don't have any way of turning them around or choosing how they go on the uh, board, though. That's the problem. It's, it's not its not easy at all to actually lay them out like you said. OK, well, just do them in this order. Remember, it's one, three, one, one. Pentagon at the top, then a square, a triangle and a pentagon. OK, I can only put them down one at a time and they seem to be locked in place. Uh, so I don't know if I'm supposed to be starting from the middle of the shape, or the top, or... Do you see my problem? It's, it's, it's... Try it and see how it goes, it doesn't matter. If it helps, the triangle is pointing right. Which triangle, though? That'll be right in the middle of the Christian cross. 
A triangle pointing right. Okay, I'll start with that. Okay, starting in three, two... Okay, time has started. Now, a triangle pointing right. If I put one down wrong, the, it stops me from picking them up again. Then we'll just have to start again. Okay, I put one cube on and the door opened. It looks like I've got to run from room to room. Okay, well, I don't know what you need to do, but the, on top of that one is a pentagon. I can't find the next open door. Hang on, I'm running. Don't stress yourself. It's okay. We don't really die. <laughs> I don't see another room. Nothing else, nowhere else for me to go. Now, this is weird. Um, I was able to go up the stairs a bit and I've got another Christian cross here. Okay, well, the arrow going white seemed to work, so what, what symbol is in the same place as that one then? It's a pentagon in here, try that. As soon as I can find a door, I'll uh, I'll jump in. There we go, Pentagon. Does that work? Okay, I grab the Pentagon, put it down. Oh, no, I mean I, that's the thing. They're all cubes with different sides, and I can rotate them, but the rotating doesn't seem to do anything when I. I think it's something to do with this compass I've got on mine here. The compass is at the bottom and it's pointing right, and to the right is a square. So they have to be the exact right cube. Okay. Wait, if it's a Christian cross, that means it's describing the entire... I'm about to die! It's not a shape I have to build, it's telling you which cube I have to put on the thing. Okay, a pentagram, and what shape is directly below that pentagram? Stay on that step. Bye-bye! Oh. Okay. <laughs> I okay, think I get, I get it, it now. It now. Yeah. It's describing the entire cube. Oh, of course. Um, can you hear me? So I just need to find the exact cube that matches. Okay. Right, it all makes sense now, yes. You need to just figure out using that um, compass. That should be our baseline, and we need to figure out what the compass is pointing at. What, what is north of the compass, as it were. Okay, well, I've switched that switch because it makes no difference to these stairs. Yeah, I think it's only when I enter a room. Ah, there's the door. Okay, uh, shall I walk in? Yay, go ahead. The compass is pointing left. Well, what's it pointing at is the thing, because the shapes are different on all the cube. Yeah, it's at the top. It's pointing left. I assume it must be the uh, left pointing... Um, this is weird. Uh, the left pointing um, triangle. What's that, sorry? It's pointing left, and there's a left pointing triangle on the left of the Christian cross. So if the shape you're looking at was folded into an actual cube, are you saying that a triangle would be north of the compass? It would be pointing at a triangle. Yes, I get what you're saying, yes. Great, okay, I'll see if I can find a cube that matches that. Okay, repeat it back to me again. 
It's a triangle and it will be pointing up. It works. Yes! Okay, that worked. I found the, co the compass pointing at a triangle. You did it right. I'm looking for the next door now. Pentagon with its point pointing up. There are lots of points on a pentagon. Any one of its points pointing up. Up means nothing to me. These cubes are random. Pentagon will be fine. All of the pentagons on all of the cubes that I'm looking at are pointing up in one way or another. We need to have some kind of relative positioning. I think the compass is the best way. Uh, what, what's the compass pointing at? The compass is pointing at the base of a pentagon rather than at a point. It's a square. The compass is pointing at a square. Yes, the compass is pointing at a square. We've got this down to a fine art now. I'm out. Oh, that was great. Yay! No, you see how we did, we did get it in the end. Sorry for the frustration in that one. I think uh, once it made sense, it was easy. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, shit. What? What? Sorry, what? What? I walked through a door. A door opened. And I walked down a hallway. And I've turned around and there's something on the ceiling. Uh oh. Ah! Jesus! I'm not moving anything, but it's looking right at me. Um, I just saw something and it disappeared. Yeah, this one isn't disappearing. I'm going to back away slowly. It's staring right at me. And I can't even begin to describe it. Do you want to stay put and see if I can help you? No, that's good. I'm just uh, walking backwards. I'm walking backwards. Uh... Yeah, I'm walking backwards for Christmas across the Irish Sea. Sure. <laughs> I don't know what you said then, because I was singing. I was saying this turned out to be a Christmas one after all. It certainly did. Okay, so there's a switch on to turn away from this thing in order to pull the switch. Okay, I'm pulling the switch now. Jesus Christ, okay, ah, uh, it's gone. <laughs> what happened? I walked up to it and it disappeared and very creepy stuff started happening, so I'm just moving up. <laughs> okay, I've got some weapons and I've got some um, arm, suits of armor. I'm gonna do something over here. There's a whole bunch of things in this hallway that I'm running through, but I have a feeling I'm not supposed to stop and look at the scenery. I'm just going to get away from whatever that thing was.
Okay, uh, oh, okay, Jesus. I'm in a room and it's, it's closing. The, room, the walls are literally closing around me. Can you hear me? Are you there? Yes, I'm there. Hold on. There's armor on the walls. Ah, whatever you just did, pulled it back. Whatever you just did, stopped something or, or pulled it back a little. And it's going again. Ah, now it's coming back. I'm holding a wheel. Okay, that wheel seems to, uh, yeah, it seems to pull the wall back, so it looks like we're okay. As long as you remember to go back to that wheel every now and again, we can try and solve this puzzle. I'm gonna bet though that you're gonna have to step away from that wheel to uh, open the next thingy. Are you there? What's going on? Yeah! I'm just going back to the wheel now. It's quite a long hallway, so it's got, I'll let you know when it's about to crush me, but for the time being... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's a long hallway, so as long as I know that you... You know, you can actually put, go to that wheel. I'll let you know when I'm about... 10 seconds away from death. Is that enough time? No, I need 20. Okay, uh, yeah, 20 seconds then, I'll let you know. Okay, I'm putting weapons in the suit of armor. I'm sorry I didn't reply before. I was kind of panicking. It's all right, this game's quite good at doing that. I'm taking another weapon now. Let me get. Tell me when you've got 20 seconds. All of the suits of armour are on the sides of the wall and what they're holding it, that would help. Oh, please, yeah, which one's got the, um, the big blade? The big curved scimitar is with the, uh, stalk. Okay. Um, and... The sword itself, the long sword, is that the lion? Death, 20 seconds from death, 20 seconds from death. Oh, sorry, what were you saying? <laughs> Hello! Is that working? Yep, still alive, still alive, okay. This is nuts, I like it. Okay, what? Is there a studded... Bat. A studded bat. Like a mace. Okay, I need to describe the room to you a little better. Um, so this hallway I'm in, right? Uh, wait, just tell me the suits of armour, what they're holding. I can't because the wall has now covered up two of them. So the wall is advancing down this hallway to crush me, and two of the suits of armor are now on the other side. Wait, if you hold that wheel, I can describe these two suits of armor, and then when you let go, you've got all the time in the world to do them. Yep, yeah, that's good. Okay, so one of these looks like a little dog. I think it's a dog or a badger, and he's got um, a shield in his right hand and a big sword in his left hand. Okay, um, does any of them have, like, a mace with, um, studs on it? Uh, no, actually, they've all got swords. I think you've been given a lot more weapons than you need. Right, I've got a curvy sword. Now, it's uh, straight, but with curves in. 
Yeah, a straight-ish but curvy-ish sword goes in the right hand of the Stork Knight. Got it! Okay! Next weapon! Uh, maybe if you go back to the wheel first, then, uh, about 20 seconds from, uh, our perfect You can't hear him, can you? <laughs> I was just asking my husband if he could hear him. Uh, how close my, my doom is, by any chance. Sorry, what did you say? Ah, no, don't worry about it. Okay, uh, blah, 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 blah. the next one is a wolf. The wolf knight has a straight sword in his left hand and nothing in his right hand. Does the straight sword have little n notches on it? I believe so, yes. I can't see it anymore because it's covered up now. Wolf. Wolf? Is that a wolf? I haven't got a wolf! Uh, 20 seconds. Perfect, thank you. Uh, it looked like a wolf. Hang on, let me check. Uh, I'm trying to jump up to see the shield. It's quite away from me. Yeah, it looks like a werewolf with a crown on. He's black and white. He's looking off to the left. Okay, I think, yeah, to me that looks like a lion, you see. Well, we might have a lion. Uh, well, if he's a lion, no, fair play. Okay, cool, but him. And they look a little bit like flames on it. Very, ti very tiny flames on the sword. On the what, sorry? Very tiny flames on the sword. Little hooks. Oh, let me have a look. Uh, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Yeah, little notches right towards the handle. OK, right. Now, uh, let me go and tell you, there is also a deer there with arrows in it, I think. Yes, that's one of the knights. I'll describe him now, if that helps. Yeah, what weapon does he need? So the deer knight has a straight, perfectly straight sword uh, in his left hand. I think I've got it. What's up, sorry? Left hand, the left hand of the knight, not... The right, the, uh, not on the right. Twenty seconds. No, I'm describing his left hand. So if you are that knight, you have to put your left hand. Good, yeah, I've got that. So there's one more. In his right hand is a shield. Whose right hand is, is the shield? The deer knight. OK, but there's one more as well, which I don't know what it is. It's got a funny head. Um, I don't know what the hell it is, but it's, it's got a crinkly sword. Come again, sorry? The last um, animal that I've got is a weird one with a funny head. What looks like a badger? Yeah, I think it's a badger type of thing. It's a badger with a sword. What kind of sword? Oh no, the badger itself is holding a sword. I'll just... Yes, that's right. You'll need to pull the wall back for me to see. Okay, I can't see a shield yet. Oh, 
Okay, so... Hang on. Wait, okay, so the knight has a sort of a V-shaped shield in his right hand. And in his left hand, he's got... Uh, ooh, a curvy, almost lightning-looking kind of blade. Okay, I'll go look for that in a sec. Yeah, it's a, it's a curvy, pointed, sharp-looking uh, uh, sword with like a weird jetty off bit past the hand. There's a couple of swords. One has quite a fat um, tip to it, a curvy tip, and the other one's got a longer curvy tip. 20 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds to death, 10 seconds. Sorry, <laughs> I can't talk when the intercom sound. What were you saying? <laughs> Too busy laughing! <laughs> it gets pretty bloody tense in this room, I can tell you. <laughs> trying to say was the sword I've given him has almost looks as though if you cut it in half it would fit into itself. Uh, oh I don't know about that. The other curvy one has quite a fat tip. Oh heck, I don't know how to describe it. It's not two-headed, is it? No, the knight that the uh, the badger, the, the sword that the badger knight is holding, it's slightly curved um, with a lot of pokey off bits to The other sword I've got now has got a curved tip, but as you say, it's got what almost looks like finger marks on it. No, it's not a curved tip with the badger knight. It's uh, it's just a generally curved sword, but it's straight-ish. I'm still looking. I'm grabbing glances at it every time the wall goes back. And it's gone again. That's how much time I have, just to let you know. <gasps> yeah, OK. Um, the third... There are four curved swords, and one of them has got what looks like a bite out of it. Ten seconds. Well, oh, shit. 20, ten, something like that. <laughs> who's ten? I'm gonna die. Oh! I caught you! Sorry, I left that one a bit late. I didn't notice how, uh, how much time I had left. So... I... Sorry, go ahead. Such a nice sword. Doesn't look like it's got a bite out of it. Doesn't look like it has tooth marks in it. It's just... The, the, the back end of the sword is just one long curve. The front end is a long bit, and then it juts in a bit, and then it pokes out down and past the hands up. Wow. I'll keep looking. It's very, you know, I'll admit, I've never really had to describe swords verbally before. This isn't a skill set I ever thought I'd need. Oh, that's the one I had before. 20 seconds. Oh, God. Oh, dear. I'm having trouble finding this one. 10 seconds, 5 seconds. Whoop. Maybe. I'm going to keep sending you back to that wheel. Hell no, it's fine. Ah, 
There's a straight sword that looks like it has a bite out of it. That's the werewolf, the the the, the, the lion, the lion knight. Sword. Talk to me. It's all right. I found a shield. Twenty seconds. Hubby found it. Actually, he was trying to tell me. God, the music does not get uh, harrowing when it's close. Yeah, it, it does for me. It gets a bit louder for me as well. I've got a shield in my hand, and it's pointed. It's a triangle at the bottom. Where's it go? Great. The shield that's pointed at the bottom <laughs> is a badger knight sword. A badger knight shield, rather. Is that Using badger? Yeah, that's it. Is it gone? You dropped it when you were trying to get the sword. Oh, sorry, uh, this is really difficult. Two seconds, ten seconds. Sorry, what were you saying? What hand is it in? The shield is in Badger Knight's right hand. Thanks, I'll do that now. How are we looking for all the other knights, by the way? Do they only have um, a weapon and not a shield? No, Badger Knight has a sword as well. 20 seconds. Okay, I've got the Badger Knight's um, shield, but I'm not sure about his sword yet. If you hold the wheel, I can take as much time in the world to describe it. Uh... Tough, okay, it's a, it's straight, but the back side, the back end, the, the non-business side of the sword is curved. So overall, it's a straight sword, but it's got a curvy bit on the back. And the front bit has one jutty out bit, and then it sort of goes in. So it's like a, a two-part sword with a curve to the, to the lower end of it towards the handle. Okay, I'll go look. Yeah, it's tough, but I can't describe them and you can look at the same moment, because now it's gone. Well, no, when the wall comes back, it's gone. Is the wall coming back? Because I'm holding the wheel. Oh, no, 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 the wall's, um... The wall's still in place now. I just ran away from it like you... OK, yeah, there goes Badger Knight, so... That could be it, you know. What do you think? I think I just need one more um, shield now. Ten seconds. Uh, ten seconds. You just need one more what, sorry. I'm going for the last shield now. Great, the last shield should be a sort of a lumpy round kind of thing. Lumpy round thing is in my hand. Great, uh, it goes from the right hand of Fear Knight. It's got bites out of north, south, east, west. Yes, that's exactly what. Dear Knight's right hand, correct? Correct. Just a second. The last thing I need to check is the other shield, the pointy one. We've got two. Oh, there's two other shields. Okay, well, Badger Knight in his right hand has a V-shaped one with bites out of northeast and south, and there's a, a sort of a, uh, 
uh, another mini shield on the front of it. Round in shape. That North, east and west? Yes, but not south. South is a point. Overall, it's a V-shape. You have that shield. I'm sorry, hold on. I'm going back to the wheel. They're exactly the same as far as I can see. If they're exactly the same, I imagine, yeah, either one should do it. I don't think they will be exactly the same. Right, let me describe the one he's got. It's got... It's got a... Yeah, it's got a flower in the middle of the shield, right in the middle, and five studs. That doesn't sound like Badger Knight's shield. 20 seconds. So in the very middle of Badger Knight's shield is just like a... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Octagonal metal disc. Okay, I'm obviously catching the wheel more often now. Yeah, no, great. You're getting it just as I'm about to get to that 20 second mark. Thank you. How are you doing for shields then? Uh, is it looking good? That's the one. Yeah, I found the one. They were exactly the same except for the fact that there was a rose in the middle of one. Yeah, no rose on Badger Knight's shield. And there were five studs on the shield which you don't have. So, do all the knights have all of their weapons then? Done! What you say? Something happened there. I think I got it. Got what, sorry? Oh! The knights! Uh, Badger Knight's eyes are glowing red. Oh, that means he's done. One of them is correct. Only one. Right, tell me what's wrong with the others. Okay, so we're one down, apparently. Okay, um, the Stag Knight. What's he holding? What sword does he have? 20 seconds. Seconds. Five seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one. I'm sorry. I ran as soon as you said 20 seconds. All right, no worries. <laughs> However, <laughs> it's easier now without having to do the wireless back and forth. Um, I'm coming yes. back from the checkpoint. Yes. And uh, we'll do that again. I know what to put in Badger, so I think we'll be okay. I have a horrible feeling, though. What's that? It's going to be different now. Yeah, possibly. <laughs> okay, different animals, different knights, different things. Bloody brilliant. Okay. S start with the shields. Okay, the lumpy weird shield is in the um, golden eagle knights. Thingy. Golden eagle. In white hat. Shit. Yes. Oh, also, uh, the wall seems to speed up the more progress you make. So just bear that in mind, that I'll have less time so that we get out of this puzzle. 
I thought so. Because it's really slow now, and it wasn't slow when I died. Okay. Shield? Weird shield is in the... Yeah, so you've, you've got the lumpy shield in the eagle knight's right hand. Yes, I have. V-shaped shield, exactly as before. Only now it is in... Uh, oh, God, it has... Is that a boar? Or a monkey? It's holding a... It's got a helmet on and it's holding a sword. One of them has a bigger ruff than the other. We'll call that big ruff. Yeah, the, the big white ruff. So, okay, yeah, big ruff has the V-shaped shield in his right hand. Is this the V-shaped shield without the rose in the middle? Yes, V-shaped shield, no rose, just that round dot. What hand again? Right hand. Okay, done. That was big rough. Is that the, all the shields? Yes, that's all the shields. Just sword stuff. Sword time! Okay, do you want to describe swords and... Uh... Well, no, I'll, I'll just have to describe them, Mona. I have a lot of straight, curvy, and double-edged swords. Okay, so Eagle Knight's sword is a really long, very straight sword with no notches out of it. Okay, I'll go look. Can you describe some of the others whilst we're, whilst we're at it? Yeah, sure. Uh, Lion Knight's sword is curvy, with what looks like a little sort of bite taken out the front of it. I've got what I think is the eagle. Just a long, straight, completely undamaged sword, I think. Bearing in mind, it's behind your shield, so it's kind of hard to see. That was... that was right. Yes, his eyes are glowing red, so we've got Eagle Knight, and the wall is now faster. Okay, across from him we have Wolf or Lion Knight, who only has a sword in his left hand, and it's a slightly curved one, with a little bit of a bite taken out of the front of it. Like I say, it, it looks like it's got those sort of teeth indents as if someone took a bite, but not quite, sh you know, sharp teeth marks. It's more sort of a notchy, curved affair towards the bottom side of it. Is it like two teeth? Yeah, two, yeah, exactly. Did he say lion? What hand? Left hand. His eyes are glowing and the wall has sped up. Great. Okay. Next. Two nights to go. Okay, uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, first I will describe, uh, what is that, badger nut? Little rough or, or big rough? Or a skunk. Do you know what I mean? It's a badger and he's looking right and he's got a sword. He hasn't got a rough though. There's little rough and big rough. Okay, Little Rough Knight has an, what I can only describe to be an elvish sword. So it's pointy, it's jagged, it's straight, kind of wide, and it's got a very clean bite mark out of it, right near the top. Is it kind of angular and not really um, curvy? Yeah, not curvy, just angular. Imagine picking this up off an elf in, uh, in a blip. Okay, and this is Little Rough, yeah? Yes. Which hand? Right hand. 
Correct. One to go. Okay. Okay, I'll describe this to you. Let me know, uh, yeah. Uh, let me know when you, when you set off for it. I'll set off as soon as you've told me, uh, described it and told me what hand. Left hand, straight sword, short-ish, and it's got sort of notches in, like it's been used quite a bit. Dirty. But it's uh, a straight, medium-length sword. Going to look now. It's got like two notches in, like it's been... Yeah, two notches in on one side. Ah! Yes. Any luck? I think I found it. <laughs> you did really well on that. Thank you for that. That was panic. You were in the bloody closing. <laughs> I know, but I could t I could hear the panic in your voice. God, it doesn't half get you any easy being in a room like that. That's brilliant. I've got um, some stained glass now. Oh, are you in a cathedral with stained glass windows as well, yeah? I am indeed. Are there dead folks on the stained glass windows? They don't look very healthy. So it looks like the king at the top and on the bottom is a dead person. Is that right for you? Yeah, it's like there's... Um... There's a person at the top, yeah, as you say, a king, and uh, or somebody in armour, and somebody dying a horrible death underneath. Yes. Lovely. Are you okay to carry on playing? Oh yeah, I'm loving this. So am I. So I've got switches and levers all over the room in various places. Should I just start pulling them, see what happens? It's up to you, but just in case it matters, I think I ought to point out to you that over my exit, there is a shield, just like the one we had before with three notches out, with a lion on it, with a little crown. A little crab? Crown. Ah, okay, cool. He might have crabs, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, let's explore. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to pull this lever. Let's see what happens. Go ahead. Well, nothing bad has happened over here. What about with you? I'm still here. Okay, that lever didn't seem to do anything. So I'm going to go over to this other lever. Sort of a red glowing lever. That sounds like the one. Uh, I can't pull it. That's weird. Yep, doesn't move. Okay, I'm guessing that's after we've solved something. Okay, I can take the windows out. I repeat that, you can take the windows out, you say? Yes, and drop them on the floor. And then they go back. Right, so you need to put them in the same order as I have here, I take it? Could well be. OK, so the leftmost, uh, leftmost window, should we just start like that, left to right? Hold on a second. Wait, uh, go back to where you came in. Uh, OK, heading back to the door. Right, do you have a platform below you downstairs? Uh, the room I'm in, the cathedral I'm in, is only one level. I don't have stairs or anything. 
That's fine. I've got three windows on the left, three on the right. So in the cathedral that I'm in, there are only three stained glass windows that I can see. I mean, they're, they're a decorative ones, but they don't seem to have any sort of pattern. Oh, that's fine, because there are empty things at the top here that I can put them in like a jigsaw. And each... each... Uh... What happened then? Oh, dear. I'm here. Yeah, you hear I me? yeah, it was disconnected. I figured that, so I've invited you back. It right. says playful. I still have no idea why I'm a lord and you're a peasant. Yeah, I was going to ask you that. Uh, yeah, I, I heard you before when my when my thing. Oh, aha! We can switch between them. <laughs> ah, I think I get it. Oh. Because. Yes. No, keep keep it like this because you're the host of the room, and I'm the joiner. Right. I think it's about that. It, 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 it... Oh, we'll skip this. I wonder if we can... Are we back? Oh dear, I'm in your place. Can you see a lot of coffins? Yes, I can. Uh, oh. Rather than starting again, I wonder if it's possible to, um, did you have a, a chance to continue the last game? It didn't do it, did it? Sorry, it didn't do it. That's annoying. Well, should we go back to the main menu and see if we can just, uh, could, oh, actually, no, this will have overwritten the last checkpoint, won't it? Yeah, that's a bit annoying, but you know what? Um, now that we know what we're doing, Let's just very quickly um, get back to where we were. Fair enough. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what this lava is like. Yeah, I think it'll be fun. Um, I think I, I have to describe something to you, don't I? Yeah, OK. Um, look in the gratings at the very bottom, uh, the, the sewer system, and there's a red glow coming from them. That's where I saw the symbols, anyway. You see what I mean? Hold on, what's crouch? Control. Mm. Not working for me. You can't crouch? No. Oh, I see them. Yep, okay. Same as before, wine glass, um, big A, curved A, and uh, something in a bath with a tail. Oh, so it's the same three symbols then? It is there, yeah. Well, I've opened your door. Oh! Which door is that? Upper level. In, in that little tiny place, yeah? I don't know what you're talking about, sorry. The room with the book. Yes, there should be a switch in there. I've done the switch and, I've, and I've, I'm looking at the book. Oh, interesting. You have to do the switch again. I just pulled it again, and it's all randomised again now. The, the three things is randomised. I seem to remember you told me about some other coffin... Um, uh, yeah, hold on. Coffin symbols. Yeah, there's a cat. A stick cat. A 
catch, sorry, what catch? A stick cat, just a stick with little arms and a and a cat head, little ears. So what what which symbols did you use to get through the second time then? Well, this is what I'm giving you now from the coffins. So are you using ah, you're using the symbols only the symbols above the coffins, yes? Yeah. Okay, a stick cat. Uh, ooh, I don't know that I see one. Uh, the light went on, but I didn't hear you there. Were you talking, sorry? Uh, sorry, no, um, I just sometimes forget what <coughs> button I'm pressing. Oh, it's alright, just making sure I can hear you. There's a little stick with uh, two arms sort of uh, raised up in happy and a little head with what looks like cat ears. <laughs> Try this one then, an hourglass with um, sand in the top. That's two, um, two lines on top and only a base on the bottom. Okay, yeah, yeah that one I've got, the second symbol is in. I don't know which symbol it'll be second first because they're in different places, aren't they? Oh, I see the cat in the third one. And the last one, look, it's a stick figure with um, what looks like sort of, it, it's almost like a tulip. Stick leaves and a stick top. Oh, you got it! Ah, thank you. Yep, we are, we are on. Checkpoint reached. Oh, this is a nice one. How did you get out of here? I've... Oh, back where you started. Okay. I'm seeing it from your point of view now. You see the spooky gazebo. Oh yeah. You gotta light the candles. Oh god, alright, yep, I see him. Okay, make north the one that's pointing towards your way out. Gotcha. It's not north, it's o'clock. Yeah, ten past, twenty past, half past, that whole shebang. Right, so light six first, half past. Okay. Then 22. Done. 20 past. Sorry, no, 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 10 past. Done. I think it's 20 past. Done. I can't really tell which is V and which is... 1v, uh, which is v1, uh oh. I think it's 10 2 and then on the hour. Oh, yeah, it's not Roman numerals, by the way, it's a weird collection of lines. Done? Yeah! <sighs> is this where I describe <laughs> the. Um, the thing you have to build. God, yeah, I see what it was like for you now. Oh, bloody hell. Ah, but I know how to describe it now. There's a thing, there's a thing in the ceiling. Did you see the thing? Uh, might have done. It's staring at me. Oh, it's gone. Told you, you're observant, you're more observant than me. Creepy little weird thing. Okay, um, right, yeah, so it looks like you're gonna have to describe that mess of symbols. What do you wanna start, red or blue? Red, and it starts with the, um, the circle with the cross again. Gotcha. Then there's the, um, the cross that goes above it has an arrow on it this time pointing up. 
Hang on. Uh, I see the one you mean, but how do you... Oh, no, I get you. Okay, yep, yeah, next one done. I don't know if it's the arms or head you want now. Uh, let's go with the arms. They're like before, but not an E. They're a C and a backward C. Gotcha. The head has two circles at the end and the line goes up through the bottom. Okay, that's the red one done. Does it say, ha is it happy with that? It doesn't seem unhappy with it, but I'm not sure how to tell. Okay, you've got the little wavy line to start with. Wavy line? Yep. The tail has a circle at the end of the J. Roger. Next one. The head is a simple circle. Uh, I, I think I can select that last. What's the next? Okay, the arms are a U with um, triangles on the end. It's not letting me select things. That's strange. Just to be clear, the tail has a circle on the end of it, yeah? Yes, a little circle. It's a J going backwards. Ah, I think I can only select the top of it first, though. That's fine. Select the top first, just a circle again. Uh, it's not letting me. I can only I can only select one other thing, and it's uh, a U with triangles at the end. Those are the arms. Select that. Duh. Okay. Yep, we're good to go. I think that's everything. So, uh, what's the plan now? Um, I'm just looking for the way out. <coughs> Door is locked. What do I have to do? You've got to head into the gazebo. Oh! Of course I have. Why? Start at the lightning. Okay, lightning down. Go straight down to the two V's in, um, interconnected. Should we just do north, south, east, west? Yeah, go south. Yep, south down. Next one is what up to the right, which will be southeast. Is the next one east? No, southeast. I know, but after southeast, is it? Yes, it's east after that, and then the um, Harry Potter one. So it's the same as before then? It is indeed. So after the Harry Potter one? Then you go up to north. East. And then west. Then west, then northwest. Done. Okay, there's a door open, but I, with the benefit of hindsight, I'm going to wait before I walk in. Well, actually, I can't get out the way I was going to get out. Maybe. Maybe I have to go back out the way I came in. Oh, no, no. Look around you. You see all those doors around you, the ornamental ones. Yeah. You see them? Uh, there are doors. You say ornamental. Well, you can't try them to see if they're locked, so I just figured they were part of the scenery, but one of them should be open. Hold on, then. I'm going into the spiral staircase. Okay. Down the bottom there's a switch. I don't know what it does. Down the bottom of what, sorry? The spiral staircase. Uh, all I see is love. Oh, okay, I'm going then. The 
compass is pointing at a triangle at the uh oh god the compass is pointing at a diagonal side of a triangle so it's not pointing at the flat side Was that a naughty? Did that rock go wrong? Yeah, it didn't like that, whatever that was. So north of the compass is the diagonal side of a triangle. Nice one. Okay. Oh, exactly the same again. So the uh, the north of the compass is pointing at the diagonal side of the triangle again. Um, there isn't another door. It's the same door. Come again. There isn't another door. No. One of them is open. Yeah. Choose it. What will let you choose what, sir? I can't choose one. I'm in this same room as I was before. That room is no longer active. You need to leave that room and look for another open door. Yeah, there isn't one. How do I find another open door? Hug the wall, move around the entire perimeter of the, the, the room you're in until you find one that's open. You have to enter it from the actual... Um, from the corridor, don't you? Yes, from the gazebo room, there are loads of doors. I'd say I've got another 30 seconds. There's none open! Have you pressed the switch? There's no switch. It's something I'm not doing and I don't know what. There should just be another door around there that's open. I've got about 10 seconds. I think there's a glitch here. Check on the red and blue sides as well. Remember there are doors there. Oh, I didn't realise there were doors at the top. Uh, about five seconds left. Sorry! Ah, no, I don't worry about it. Oh my god! <laughs> I love hearing that. You have no idea how close that was. I've accepted my own death. <laughs> I think I have. Okay. <laughs> the compass is pointing at the flat side of the triangle. Like a, a hedge mate. 
Oh, something didn't like that. It just took a whole bunch of time off. Damn. The compass is pointing at the flat side of the flag. There isn't one. I'm going in a different room. Oh, I can't go in a different room. Are you sure it's a base it's pointing at? Oh, there were loads of triangles, but it was pointing at the diagonal. Yeah, it was the, um... The straight one. Right, here we go. Okay, the compass is pointing at the, oh, funnily enough, a diagonal side of a triangle. No! It was a diagonal! Maybe it matters which way it's pointing as well. I don't think it matters which way it's pointing when you put it down. Uh, south of the compass, so away from where it's pointing, the flat side of a triangle, if that helps. Maybe we need to be more specific. Yes, you do have to be specific. Okay, I'll give more uh, more bearings then. Okay, great. Uh, well, so north of the compass is the diagonal side of the triangle. South side of the south of the compass is the pentagon. It's looking at the point of the pentagon. East of the compass. Hang on. What's north of it again? Triangle, the diagonal side of the triangle. And south? And south? What's that? Sorry, can we... What's south of the compass? Pointy end of a pentagon. I'm not getting the end of your sentences. I think it's before, if you hold it down a little bit longer. I looked at. Excellent, thank you, got it. Okay, one more to go. North of the compass is the pointy side of the pentagon. East of the compass is a triangle. South of the compass is a triangle. And west is another pentagon. So north and west Pentagon, east and south of time. I am looking, don't worry. I am looking, don't worry. What? Wait, did I say... What's south of it? South is a triangle. East and south triangle, north and west. Wait. No, sorry, no. Uh, yeah, east and south far. Uh, I wasn't correct. Sorry, I know you know that. It's just uh, <laughs> a bit more visceral than no over here. Sorry, right, we've got a pentagon up top, yeah? Up top, a uh, pentagon is north of the compass. Flat side! Pointy stuff. Uh, see you've got about five seconds. 
know what? Just grab one at random. I'll be. I grabbed one at random. Oh my god. <laughs> this is hard. Oh, it is. I must have gotten so lucky when it was my side. Because I was just, oh, that'll do, and it worked. Well, yeah. <laughs> we'll try it again. You are okay to try it again. I'm loving it, so don't worry about me. This is an amazing game. I can't believe we didn't play it soon. Oh, gee doke. First things first. Uh, ooh, let's figure out the uh, layout of this cube. You in the room yet? Nope, I can't find an open door. Hold on. Got one! Okay, north of the compass is a square. South. Just give me north and south. Uh, okay, yeah, north is a square, south is a triangle. It was what you said. Maybe a different one then. Uh, the south is the flat side of the triangle. Square, yeah? Yes, and south is the flat side of the plane. Something's going wrong here, we just don't seem to have this. end of a triangle. Uh, no, wait, that, yeah, no, that, try it, sorry, it, it, I'm trying to figure out the sort of layout of the cube. Try the pointy end of the triangle, that may well be right. It was a pointy end. Yeah, sorry, I've gotten the, uh, the layout of that cube all screwed up, so it's quite off, off Okay, so north of the compass is the uh, diagonal side of the triangle, and the same from south. I'm 80% sure I'm correct on this one. West the Pentagon, does that help? Oh, kick out! Good, good! Great, okay, north of the compass is the pointy end of the Pentagon. South is the pointy end of the triangle. Looking for a door! Yeah, it's difficult in that one, it's all kind of weirdly laid out. Say again! Uh, north of the compass is the pointy end of the pentagon, south of the compass is the pointy end of the triangle. Sorry, I know I should be uh, looking at the cube, I'm just staring into the wild I know I should. Are you sure it's the pointy end of a triangle? Yes, south of a triangle is the pointy end, I'm 100% sure, that's flat on the cube. South of the compass? South of the compass, sorry, yes, south of the compass is the pointy end of the triangle. The triangle is pointing at the compass. Wow. 
We don't have that. Uh, hang on, north. Uh, north of the square. I thought it was a pentagon. Uh, maybe not. I'm not very good at this. Hmm. I just yeah, picked up sorry, a square. I'm, I'm <gasps> bloody terrible at mapping this cube stuff. Don't worry. I just picked up the square. Then I was just about to do it. We'll try again, yeah. Do you want to change yeah, yeah. it to Lord? I don't know if you can here. What's that, sir? I don't think you can cho change from Lord and Peasant here, can you? No, it's fine. I just need to get better at this uh, spatial mapping stuff. Okay, north of the compass is the diagonal side of the triangle. South is the flat side of the triangle. Yeah, it's when I'm trying to visualise this cube, it's all screwy. I'm, I'm really, uh... Got it! Back. Got it! Nicely done. Okay, uh... North of the campus is a square. Hold on! Looking for a door! Okay, go! North is a square! North of the compass is a square. South is flat up no, hang on, south is a triangle. I can't figure out the angle yet. Uh, Not that angle! What's up, sir? What was the question you were asking, sir? Pointy end or flat end? Let's say pointy end. Square at top. North is a square. South is the end of a triangle. No, it isn't. Uh, okay, I'm 100% sure that north is a square. And um, hang on, it's a triangle. Yeah, it's a triangle, all right, to the south. Got it. Okay, north of the Pentagon. This one's really easy. North of the Pentagon, south of the triangle. Uh, south is the flat side of the triangle. North is the flat side of the Pentagon. Like really quiet by the way. Sorry, I just realised my microphone was pointed up. Oh, we did it! Yes! Nicely done! Thank you, yes. I'm sorry, I just realised, yeah, my, I may have been really quiet. Am I too loud, by the way? No, 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 you've been perfect! Great, just head into that room and, yeah, that really long hallway. You enjoy the view. I'm going up a long staircase. <laughs> okay, here we go. Right, we've got a little rough or a badge or whatever you call it. Are you there? Sorry, yes, I wasn't pressing the button. I'm holding... Is the wheel held in place? Yes, it is. But you don't have to worry about it yet. OK. There's a badger or something. It's got a little rough. It needs a mace in its right hand. OK, little rough with a mace in its right hand. Okay, I see two birds and two uh, dogs. I see big rough, no rough, a stork and an eagle. Is that what? Oh, oh. Okay, this might be big. I think this is little rough. What? Yes, it is. 
There's Russ and no Russ. I, 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 there's no relative size there, so, uh, is what? No Russ, then! No Russ has a mace in his right hand, correct? Yes, with studs in. It's a spherical sort of pointy classic mace. Right, I've got, as soon as I let go of this wheel, I'm going to run over to the weapons thing, and... Round mace or sort of polygonal? Um, it's got sides to it! Did you say left or right hand? Here's right hand! And that's left, uh, no... No rough! Great, that's in place. Does he have a shield? No shield! I'll tell you when there's a shield! It didn't seem to work then. His, his eyes aren't red, are they? No, they're not! Uh, the mace is a stick with an iron kind of a um, thing on top with studs in. Yeah, that's exactly what I've got, a mace. He's got a little rough on his top of his arm. No other maces here. I'll check on the other side of the road. So I'm just stopping by the wheel as he's... Yeah, that's fine. I see a different kind of mace. I'll try... Okay, you're all right. Took a plenty of time. Don't worry. Well, it doesn't hurt to reset it when I'm passing. Hey, one down. Okay, stalk guy has a curved blade, and you'll distinguish it from the others by what looks like four. Bite marks, tiny little bite marks out of the back side. Right near the handle. Oh yeah, got it, perfect. Left hand, nothing else. Left hand of stalk guy. Two dead. Right, the um, Golden Eagle, you ready for him? Yep. He's got an almost round shield in his right hand with four studs and a sort of a rose on a stud in the middle, big stud. Sorry, did you say that's Eagle Guy in his right hand? Yeah, a shield. Roger, looking the... Shields. Oh, I see the shields. Did you say it's a round shield or...? Pretty much round, yeah, with um, four small studs and a big, big stud in the middle. OK, I'll look on the other side. I've got what looks good. Hang on. The eagle guy's right hand. That's it, yes. I'm fine for time. <clears throat> cool. What, uh, what's his weapon? It's a double headed axe with what looks like huge ponytails coming down. Okay, having a look. Horses' manes, that's what they look like. Horses' tails, sorry. Thin link the description. It's symmetrical. It's left hand in cap. No, that didn't work. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try... Spiky horse's tails. It looks like th that mace in the middle as well. A mace in the middle of what, sorry? Of the double-headed axe. Okay, uh, 
Oh, that looks, yeah, no, that looks a lot more like it. I think I've got... That's in the left hand of the eagle guy. Left hand of eagle guy incoming. Wait, where's the other mace? Oh. Yeah! Well done. The last sword is a wicked looking crooked um, thing with, with a great hook out of the bottom of the business end that looks like you'd stick it on a table. Uh, ooh. Come again, sorry, just keep describing it. Okay, it's, um, it's like a curved blade, at least there's a big curve on the uh, back side of it, which ends in a tiny, uh, sticky out spike. The business end has a great hook out of the bottom half of it. Yeah, this looks close enough. It's hooked so it actually could balance on something. Which hand? Right hand of the uh, big rough. And uh, what about a shield? No shield. Uh, then I've got the wrong sword, okay. You say like a long blade. It's a long blade, it goes well above his helmet. <clears throat> And it's curved. Yeah, it's in no way symmetrical at all. It's curved. It's it's quite normal at the top, but at the bottom it's kind of jagged. And a huge point at the very bottom, pointing at the floor. Yeah, I've got what looks like the right kind of sword. I'll keep trying different variations. In his right hand. Yeah, yeah, it's in his right hand. Uh... My business end of the sword, do you mean the pointy bit? Or do you mean near the hand? I mean the bit he cuts with. The bit when he hits somebody, that'll be the bit that slices through. It goes down in a curve to halfway, then it hooks back. That's the one. Funnily, the so, I just got then was called the pointy end. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I know. I thought you, I kind of meant the bit you hit with. Oh no, I recognise this. Oh yeah, what's this? Remember I told you there were switches and levers in the room, in the cathedral you're in now? Yeah? There was one thing I didn't describe, and that's what looked like a chessboard on one of the tables. I see it. That chessboard is now large and in front of me, and I have a horrible feeling I'm going to have to stand on that at some point. How did we get here? That didn't happen before, did it? Oh, have you got the stained glass windows that I was going to do? Yes, I've got six stained glass windows, three on each side of this large room. And uh, three empty stained glass windows at the top of the stairs, right at the top of your room. Yes. So you have to put things in there? Yes, I think if you describe them to me left to right, I'll try and match them. Well, it's fairly easy. The top is a guy that looks like he's wearing a beaver and uh, he's got a very big beard and he's also got um, a circle of halo around him. Oh yeah, I think I see the... He's looking left. Oh, he's looking left? Oh. <laughs> there is another one where he's looking right and that goes on the right. Oh, no, I see, I see Beaver Dude. Okay, who's his, um... 
Who's his partner? Have you put him in? There are lots of different left, uh, two different left looking beaver dudes, and there are two different partners being shot. One of them is Legolas, and the other one is uh, Snow White with an arrow to her heart. I don't know about the, what, that one, but this one's Rapunzel. She's got long hair that ends in a knot, and I think she's holding a dagger. Red hair. Uh, interesting. I don't have any of that here. Um, I'll go back to the other side of the room one second. Red hair, white blouse, kind of um, a smock on top. So I've got red hair. Oh no, she's she's got a sword sticking to her, not a dagger. It could be a sword. Well, no, there's a there's a big difference. There's a massive sword sticking to one of these women. And it, yeah, there's no just no mistaken. The only problem is the beaver guy's looking white. Well, the the third window has beaver guy looking right. Well, let's just do looking left at the moment. Let's get the first one out of the way, because I'm, uh, I'm sure I've got the white one here somewhere. So I've got two beaver dudes looking left, and one of them, three arrows in his partner, and the other one, one arrow in his partner. I think you have to realise you can take part of the window out. You don't have to take the whole window. Oh, bloody hell, I thought it was the whole thing I had to take. Well, okay, that changes things completely. Right then, let's start. Jesus, okay. Um, <laughs> he's a dude, is he gold or silver? What do you mean, gold or silver? Okay, so I've got two uh, beaver head dudes looking left. One has silver armor with gold ornamentation on it. Oh, they both have it, Jeez. Grey bricks behind him? Hang on, grey bricks behind this one. Yep, grey bricks behind both. On their actual armour though, not on their shoulders, on the front part of the armour, is there anything gold there? Yes! Great, okay. I think I've got the first part of the first dude. Okay, first part in place. Uh, and his partner was... Long red hair, white blouse. Grey frock on top. Dagger in breast. Wait, does her hair go over the front of her or back? Over the front in a kind of a Rapunzel then in a knot. And is she pointing, is just her body pointed up and right? The head is up towards the top right. I think I've got her. She's got creases in her neck. Oh yeah, weird creases. Okay, what about the bottom? I'm not sure how to differentiate between... Flowers, quite small ones. There's a lot of green and what looks like some red berries. It looks like two trees at the side. Red berries and what I would call a bat signal in white in the middle. I see two trees on the side. With reddish kind of berries or flowers. Oh no, just four trees in the middle and two trees on the side. Yeah, the four tree, the four bushes in the middle. They're sort of white with four berries on each. I think, oh, I might be right then. Let me just have a check. They're like little bushes and the whole white bit looks like a bat signal. I don't think it's right. Uh, the, the white bit looks like a bat signal. There's green. Um, <clears throat> there's green trees at the side of this. We're looking at the bottom bit, aren't we? Yeah, the very bottom. Green tre green trees at the side, almost covered by uh, the next, the bit above, and they've got little sort of red flowers with red berry. 
Uh, on the inside. I think I've got that. I think I've got it. Yeah, and the white, the white background looks like a bath. I think, I, yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, should we try the second one? Okay, has it done anything? No, that's not a good sign. Well, we'll try the next bit and see what happens. It's got a king with a proper um, queen of uh, Queen of England crown, and he's looking left. He's looking left. Okay. He's got a weird little beard, you know, with that just that line down. The Robert Downey Jr. That's the one. And he's looking left. Yeah, and he's got pearls and a pendant and five, like, diamonds on his shoulder. Perfect. Sorry to be pedantic, I've just noticed he's actually looking in the other direction. Is his body turned to the left? Sorry, I mean left, my left. Looking at this king now, is his body turned to your left, not his eyes? Body and eyes. Well, the eyes of the guy I'm looking at are looking off to the right, but his body is facing left. You know what, close enough, he'll do. I can't see his eyes properly, I'm so sorry. No, it's alright, I just want to make sure, you know, the uh, keep talking and nobody explodes sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Right then, what's, uh, what's his partner look like? Same position as the last one. Red hair, well, I don't know what hair she's got. She's got a helmet, which is Viking with wings on. She's got a bow and three arrows in her. I think I know, uh, yeah, hang on. I think I know the... I think she's got a red cape, or it could be her hair. I think it's blood. So... Oh dear, it's blood. So she looks like a Valkyrie, a uh, bow in her right hand, three arrows in her. That's correct. Excellent, on the way. Great, and what does the bottom look like? I think the easiest way to tell you this is this. Um, two axes in the middle, then two spikes, then two um, going outwards, then two um, shields, then two swords. Axes, spikes, shields and swords. That's it. The ones I've seen are mostly bushes and trees, so they should be kind of easy. There are two trees in the corners, but they're fairly dead. Uh, I don't see one with weapons on. Screw it, I'll try this one. Wait, let's do the third one and then we'll figure it out from Okay. So what's the guy on the top look like on the Beaver guy looking right. Orange armour. Sorry, come again? Beaver guy looking right, orange armour. Oh wait, no, this guy's got silver armour. Are you sure it's orange armour? It's not silver. I've only got one beaver guy and he's in silver. One guy looking right, that is. Can you turn him round? Wait, no, I think... Wait, no, hang on. Uh, I might have the right guy. Okay, yeah, no, no, I, I, there was an orange, orange guy. Yep, great, what's his partner look like? 
good. This one's a pretty girl with, um, <clears throat> she's got flowers in her hair. She's in the opposite position to the others. She's got an arrow right in the centre. <clears throat> an arrow or a dagger? Arrow, I think. And um, she has blonde hair and white striped blouse with a black striped frock. I've got all of that, but except for one... Ah. Yep, yeah, nope, got it. Sorry, picking stuff up and putting it down is a nightmare. You could do with some opposable thumbs. Okay, blonde lady, flowers in her hair, arrow in her... Wait, now just the bottom to go. Trees! Four lovely chubby little trees, and you can see the um, uh, trunks on them in the middle, and then two nice happy trees on the outside, and a, a little bit of tree above as well. The trees look kind of dead, you can see a lot of their branches. Uh, the trees at the sides, you can see a lot of their branches, but they're nice and light green. Okay, it's looking like we've got something wrong around here. Bear with me, sorry, just reorganise. Okay, uh, yeah, this is the part I've been having trouble with because it's very, very small and it's hard to sort of make them out. So we've got happy green trees. I take it that's the one on the right. Yeah, the green trees are left, right, and a little bit above the trees in the middle. The trees in the middle are white-ish or creamish with uh, four trunks. Oh no, the one... Okay, I've got lots of happy trees going over the whole thing, but I've got one, two, three, four, eight trees in the middle. There's only four trees in this one. They're sort of set on little tiny rolling hills. Very shallow rolling hills. Yeah, no luck with these bottom ones. Uh, you describe what you've got to me. Okay, I'm resetting them all because... Uh, okay. So, the first one I have is lots of leafy green trees on the left and right going over the top as well. And in the middle, a white background with eight little green trees on hills. Yeah, there's uh, four little sort of creamy trees, the same colour as the background on this one. You say the first one, you do mean the third window now, don't you? I'm starting again, sorry, now I'm looking... Okay, we, we, just tell me which one to put it in. I'll describe the ones I see and you tell me if it matches, because I can't match up with anything you're describing on the bottom. Okay, well, the one with the red uh, hair, you know, the Rapunzel with the dagger in her. I'll, I'll describe what's under her, okay? I see four cream trees on one of these. That looks kind of good. Yeah, that looks like what I was trying to say. Four cream trees. Which one is that? One, two, or three? Number three, with the girl with the flowers in her hair. Okay, that's in place. Now, which are the other two? The first one with the red hair and the dagger in her, yeah? The one on the left, yes, first one. Okay, this might help. There's a lot of what look like berries here, or, re or very dark red flowers with lighter red centres. There's four bushes, and in the middle is what looks like could be an anvil or a fountain. I think it's a fountain because of what's coming out of it. Got it, fountain in the middle, and is that the one on the left? That's the one on the left. Great, just the middle one to go. 
Yeah, there's sticks in that one. You may not be able to see the axis if you're not close enough. That's the thing, is it's difficult to get close to these windows. Uh, they're just sticks. It looks like dead, dead trees and dead fire. Yeah, the overall co colour is a sort of an amber and red. Is this the one with with um, swords and shields and, uh, and axes? Yes, it's, it's got swords, shields, sticks, axes and fairly dead trees on the outside. Hey, that's a good sign. Well Win done, the you. battle in the name of Amber Adelaide. Um, Adam? Yeah? It's looking at me. Oh, there's a thing, is there? Creepy, isn't it? Oh! Oh, God! Oh! Look up. <laughs> oh, is it above you? It was, yeah. Okay, um, the chessboard has been populated. Ooh, so it has. I describe? I can't seem to move anything here. I can just sort of look. Up. Okay, well, the thing is, I've got seven stones, no, sorry, eight stones on the board, two towers, and a column with X on. Nine stones, sorry. Yeah, it looks about the same to me. I've got all those things you described, but... Uh... I can do something here, but I might kill us. I'm going to stand off the board when you do that. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do here, but the column with the with the swords on it, which could represent you, is on the fourth um, square from the left. Where are you? Sorry, I just realised I haven't been holding my bloody uh, intercom button down. Okay, so yes, there is a guy who looks like the one you described. He's got two swords and he's the only one facing down the board, so facing towards the castle. It looks like I can do something with him, but I might need your help, I don't know. Did he move? Yes, okay, you moved him forward and he moved here on the board. I moved him again. Don't move him. Don't move him without thinking because there's probably uh, serious repercussions if you move him like into a rock or an enemy. I, I don't know. Have you got any enemies on your board? Yes, I've got one, two, three, four of them. Hang on, is there a rock, one, one space forward and one left from your current main character? Yes, there is. It sounds like we've got the same board here then. We're, you know, we're looking at the same layout. So I'm not sure what there is that needs to be done. I'll move him and see what happens.
Should I attack the rock? Give it a go. He won't do it, so I'll move him forward. I've just put him in the tower. Yeah, nothing. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening here either. I know. Okay. So I'm running around having a look at what else is in this room, and there isn't anything other than the stained glass windows. Fight for the king. Destroy the enemies. Ah, did you hear that? I did! I think you got to move your guy onto the other enemies. Hang on, there's one more you've missed. He's back here. What do you mean by that? Well, you've just killed two of them. How? You moved your guy onto them and they just disappeared. Well, tell me how to move on to them. I don't know how to control anything. I'm just a spectator. I'm just standing on the board. And your guy's disappeared. I don't know where he is now. He might be in one of the towers or... He's in the right-hand tower. I'm controlling him. Can you take him out and move him onto the other enemy? If you tell me where they are. Well, can't you see them? Well, they're not disappearing. Well, move along the board now, across it, to the, uh, to the rock. Yeah, it won't go onto the rock, though. Just before you hit the rock, you'll have killed an enemy. Yeah, I'm next to the rock. Across to the other rock. There we go, he's down. Okay. Have I killed another? Back to, uh, away from the castle and around those two rocks. I've got nine rocks on here, so just tell me down, left, right, or up. Down. Right, twice. Down, twice. Left. Make them weaker. Storm the towers. Oh, hey, what? Storm the towers. I think you need to move your two guys into the towers now. I've only got one guy. There's two guys from what I can see. Okay, try moving one of your guys forward what? Ah, wait, okay. Uh, right one. You're controlling two guys on this board, but of course the rocks are controlling how and where they move. Ah, oh, this is going to be awkward. Uh, okay, yep, yeah, forward one. Right one. Forward one. Forward. Left. Left. Down. Right. Up. Right. Forward. Forward. Their defeat is near. What happened there? 
So flags came Oh, now you've got to go into the... Oh, God. You've got to go into the castle now. You don't... Okay, sure. Um... You direct me. Yeah, sorry, just having a think. Okay, forward. Uh, right. Forward. Left. I can't. I can't! Sorry, were you saying something? I can't go left, there's a rock there. I know, but you need to... But the other guy will move. I can't go left. Okay, in that case, uh, back. Left. Left. You're controlling the guy on the left, and I see. There's another guy on the right that you probably can't see. Okay, forward. Forward. Uh, forward. I can't go forward or left here. I know, uh, forward. I can't go forward or left here. Oh, sorry, I thought you said you could. Um, wh why can't you? What's, is there something? I've got rocks on my board. Weird, there are no rocks here. Yeah, the rocks. I think you thought the rocks were your um, e were the enemies you could see, but they're not. No, no, I can see rocks on the board, but I can't see them where you're... Where you are. So, uh, okay, try going back to... Right. Uh, right again. Forward. Right. Forward. Forward. Uh, oh god. How the hell is this gonna work? Okay, back. Right. I can't go right here, there's a rock. See, that's weird, because there's a rock to your left on the board here, but nothing on your rock. I can go left. No, don't go left. Uh, go forward. Forward. Uh, right. Forward. Left. Yes, forward. Left. Forward. And forward. Oh, thank God for that. Oh, my God. The Victory. Wait. This was a trap. My sons. What have I done? Hey, what? Something was a trap. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's featured trial. Uh oh. What's going on? I've uh, I've come out into what looks like a courtroom. Ooh, me too. That's not you down there, is it? Where? Oh, hello. Hello. Should I jump down? Oh God. Oh no. Okay, you're going to have to help me out of this maze. Oh my god. How's it? Say again, sorry. I can walk around this maze quite happily, but uh, am I going to die? I don't know. Um, I don't know what you've got to avoid. Oh heck, I hear a ticking clock. Oh god, me too. Ah. I guess I've got to get out of the maze in the time. Right. Okay. I can't see all of it. Oh, 
the axes, sir. Go round, in, in, go in. Wait, the whole maze has changed. Go in, sir. Go round, go round, keep going round. Turn right and right. Right, no, come back. There. Right. Keep I going. I clue what I'm doing, but I'm Keep going, around. keep going in, go in towards the middle. Now keep going round, go round, go round. Come out. Are you doing anything? Go out, out, out. Yes, I'm watching you. I can't see where it is. I think it's down towards me. If you can head towards me, I think it's the X is towards me somewhere. Is it? Oh, I can see it now. Out. There it is. There it is. In front of you. Back to the middle. Back to the middle. Uh, out. Go. Yeah, no, go. Keep going the other way. Other way. Other way. Oh, sorry. Sorry. That's fine. Get in if you can. All the way around. That's it. No, in, in, in. No, come on. Keep going. You turn back then. Oh hell! I've been telling. I've been giving you instructions the whole time, and you haven't heard me. Have you not been pressing the button? Nope. Okay. Um, you won't be able to talk to me. So out you go now. Out. Out. Right. Keep going. Out. No. Back. Out. There. No, to your right. Sorry, I'll try and get better. Out. That means go out. Um, no, no. Keep going, keep going round, keep going round. Out. Out. Outwards. There. Go out. Go round. Um, I can't see a way out. Ah, there. Out there. And, yeah, go left, left. Keep going left. Uh, straight ahead, straight ahead. Yeah, it's on the outside. It's on the outside. So keep going round. Keep going round. Go in and then back out. Yeah, now it's inside. So get in if you can. Not there. Not there. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, that way. No, the other way. Out. Out. In. There. Oh, it's right there. What? What's happening? Uh, what's the mechanism? For that? Don't do anything yet. I just want to talk to you and explain what's happening. Can you see around you lots of uh, black holes? Hang on, hang on, hang on. You're letting go of the button before you finish talking. I'm, I'm not catching the end of your sentences. Can you see a lot of black sort of buttons around you? Loads of them, yes, but they don't seem to do anything. Right, hold on. I don't know if you can see it, but the X, can you see the X? No. That explains something. I can see the X, and I know which black button you've got to run to. Okay? Okay. Now, wait. When I say out, you go out, and if I say in, towards the middle. Okay, and I'll keep running... Oh, I don't know, should you want to say clockwise out, or anti-clockwise out, or something like that? When I say out, I'll say, and turn right. Okay, let's, let's give it a go then. Out, turn right. Nope, sorry, my mistake, go back. All the way back, all the way back until you find an out. Left, 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 keep going like that. When you stand on the middle, it starts the game. Out, go, keep going, keep going round, keep going round. Out, turn right, there. Back in, in as soon as you can. In, go right, keep going round, out as soon as you can, and then go right, go right, go, no, the other way. That's it, there. There, go onto it, go onto it. Phew, out. Keep going round now, keep going round, keep going round, in. Now go round, go round, in. Keep going right round, right round, right round, out. No, out there. Out, out there, and right, go, there. That's it. Keep going round the outside. All the way around the outside until you get to in. Go in, keep going. No, back, back. Keep going that way. Keep going, back. keep going. You're not going to make it. In. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Out. Keep going to the next. Keep going there. Good. Oh. You've got to go to the middle. Right. Keep going around the out. Around the out. In, in. Back of yourself. Back of yourself. L l that's it. In. In there. Now, uh, right round, right round, and in. In to the middle. Oh, bloody hell, I fell in a fit. 
You did it! You did it, thank you for that, that was great. Jesus, that was hard. Well, uh, I'm now in a dungeon. There's lava below me, but it doesn't look threatening. I think it's just there. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm looking around. So, okay, I'm being directed towards uh, symbols on the wall. I've got a turning puzzle with different symbols, but I can't control anything here. So I think I've got to direct you. That's not you walking past, is it? Hello. Hello. Hey, uh, I hear action music, and I have a horrible feeling it has something to do with this lava. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we're looking for symbols. Because I've got symbols, symbols to spare on this side. Okay, I've got knights. <sighs> You've got what, sorry? I've got knights. Oh, well, we've solved one mystery. Yes, the lava is coming to kill. Oh, good. I'm all right, then. What symbols have you got? Three symbols. I've got uh, the... Oh, Jesus. The Zodiac. I've got a box with another with a, an X through it. And I've got what looks like a... Oh, just like a rectangle with a line below. I've got symbols. Go. Okay, top symbol is the Zodiac. What does the Zodiac look like? It's a circle with an X going through it that's, that goes out in each side. It's the Zodiac Killer. It's this thing. I don't have that. I've got a load of trapeziums. So, oh, wait, no. Whatever you're turning on that side, I can see it turning on this side. Okay, I've got symbols on both sides of the doors here. Yeah, I can see the other side of those symbols here. Above these three, this, this turning puzzle, there's a little placard with another symbol inside it. It's an upside down triangle with a circle in the middle. Is that it? What side? I've just moved the top sim. sim this top symbol and it's a V with a circle in it. Upside down triangle with, with circle in. Are you there? I'm here. I, I can't see what you can see. What, should, what what symbol do you want me to put on here? I don't know. As I say, all I've got is this placard above these three symbols, which I can't move. All I can see in the placard is a triangle with a circle in it. What about on this side? There's no placard above this. There's just two symbols and the, the, the third one at the bottom doesn't have anything on it. Well, I've got three symbols here in a line from top to bottom. And I've got and I've got three symbols top to bottom here as well. If you're talking to me, I can't actually hear you. No, I've, I've told you everything. 
there's nothing more I can say. I, I don't know. There's a placard here with that symbol and an arrow pointing at that placard. And then I've got this, this turning puzzle. Uh, yeah, which doesn't actually seem to do anything. I mean, I can't control these. I'm just looking at the symbols that are left on this side. You say that when I turn it, you see something. So maybe if I tell you what I see, okay, have you got the symbols into some kind of order on your side? No, I don't know what order to do. The only reference shape I can tell you is the one on the placard. And again, I don't know. I don't hear you very well. I think it might be the lava. So, the only symbol, the only thing I see here that I have to hand is the upside down triangle with a circle in it. That, that's it, that's just, that's on a placard, there's a big arrow pointing to it, that's all I have. I've put a triangle with a circle and that's, and that's all I can do, that's on top, but I've got other symbols. I've got a circle with um, a line through it. I've got what looks like a window pane. I've got other symbols with squares on. I'm moving them, but I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, no, none of them look familiar or any kind of pattern that I'm aware of. Uh, I don't know how much longer I have. As I say, I can't control or affect anything in here. No, but I can. I can turn the symbols. What about these over here? On the other side, I can see them turning, but I don't recognise any of the symbols. They don't... Yeah, no, nothing makes any kind of sense. They're just more symbols. Have you looked around the room you're in? Yes, I have. Oh. There's really nothing here for me to go by. It seems that uh, I think the clues are on your side. Ooh, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, all, again, all I could tell you was what I could see. I mean, I had those three symbols on the... different symbols when you were turning them, but... Yeah, but there's there's no rhyme or reason to any. Like if one was a triangle and one was a circle, that would make sense. We could build the the shape I can see, but nothing like that. There has to be something independent of the symbols being turned that tells you um, what I should be trying to do. I can see a book outside of my cell. When you get here, let me know, I can, uh... Yeah, I'm just looking around, I've got a long walk to get here. I'm here. Great, I'm looking at a book right now. So to your right, turn around. Sorry, yes. Oh. Is there anything in that book that can help us? No, I can't see in it. It doesn't let me view it. Uh, okay, it's not a readable book then. Well, it was a long shot, but that's all I really had uh, going for. explain what you can see. Is there anything you can see that doesn't change when I change the symbols? No, I just see the other side of the wall. So when you turn it, so turn one of Now I see a circle with two lines through it at the very top. Now I see a square with a line through it on the second. 
Now I see a trapezoid with a line going through it vertically on the... Two trapezoids, concentric. One, one trapezoid rotate. Trapezoid with an X. Two tra I don't even know if that's a trapezoid, that's what I'm going to call it. There's a, a rectangle, a trapezoid with a line below. Any of this helpful? Not really, but I do have the trapezoids on the other side. Right, so you can change them, I can't, but they've got to make up some kind of shape here. I think that when I turn them, you've got to tell me what you see. Yeah, I see a circle with an X to it. I see a, a, a box with two lines either side. A box with two lines either side? A square with lines on the left and right. Now I see a trapezoid with an X through it on the bottom. And, and, and none of them make... Come over to the other side and tell me what you see on top. Um, a slanted rectangle with another slanted rectangle sort of intersecting it. Um, when you say another one intersecting it, can you be more precise? Okay, I see a, a slanted rectangle and on the bottom side, the, the lower face of it, there's another rectangle directly placed on that, that face. So it's half inside and half outside that shape. Does that help? Yes. Now what? I see a, a square inside a painted circle. Okay. Now what? I, I don't get what we're doing. Just tell me what you see. At the bottom. Sorry, sorry, just tell me what you see at the bottom. I didn't press the button. Nothing, I see nothing on this side on the bottom, like just the two sh- I don't get what we're doing. Every time you- Every time you saw, um, something, I put that below it. Is the lava still, um, advancing? Yeah. Um, I'm going to try something different on this side. Did you say you've got um, an upside down triangle with a circle in it? Yeah, a triangle with a point facing down. And what? And what's the top symbol now? The top symbol is a circle with an X through it. And the second one is? A square, a, a box, a rectangle with two lines, left and right. Good. And the bottom one is? A trapezoid with an X through it, a wide X. Are you there? Are you there? Else away from that bloody rock. Oh, you, you're out! <laughs> I bloody legged it the second it opened. There were two trapezoids with X's. Ooh, look at that. Oh, excellent. Look! Well done for working that out. Look, look over here. Sorry, you were saying something? When you said what you could see, I put that in the one underneath. There were two trapezoids with X's, look. But it was a wide X. See? See? What gets me is that this second shape here is rotated differently to how I see it. Come have a look. Hang on. It's exactly the same. I'll tell you why, because that's a different one.
Oh! See! Collect one and put... We were just very, very lucky! Oof! We were very lucky that the rest of it worked! Where are we going now? I don't know, I'm just trying to... Oh! This way! Strange that we're now uh, together. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I'm going to bet that there's going to be uh, something where we need to both press buttons and then we're going to get split up again. I just have a feeling. Ha ha ha! What's this? Oh hey, there's a thing, a wheel that I can turn. Is anything happening? I'm turning the... I'm in the elevator! That's gonna be going up! I've changed my mind! Something sounds spooky! I think I'd like to come down now! <laughs> It's not turning the other way. What do you see? Okay, I've got symbols. Right, I've got um, a gate and the outside. I've got a button for the elevator. And I've got symbols. Uh, maybe try sending the elevator down. Have you got any symbols you can put in anywhere? Nothing at all. I've got a wheel to lift, the, send the lift up, and that's it. Wait, I think I'm calling the lift. Yes, I think you are. And when it's down, I can bring it up. I hope. I certainly hope so too. Okay, uh, bring me on up. I think you might have to. What's that, sorry? I think you're coming up. Are you? Yep, I'm coming up. Hello. I may have to go down and put those in. Put those in in the cell, you mean? Yeah, I'll go and try. You stay here, so you can tell me what they are. Okay. Although I do remember some of them quite well. Right, I'm here. Okay, do you need the first step? Now I've got the first one. And the second, what's the third? The third one is a diamond with a line connecting its left and right side. Fourth one? Trapezoid with a line intersecting it vertically down the middle, but wider than the shape itself. Thank you. F fifth one? Slanted rectangle with a line connecting its bottom left and top right side. 
bottom. And the bottom one? What's up? Sorry, you're cutting it. What's the bottom one? The bottom one? You mean the, the, the last symbol? Sorry, yes. You're cutting out halfway through your sentence, sorry. This last symbol, yes, what is it? It's a circle with half a square. The right half of a square with a circle in the middle. I've got that. But I think... that I might need it on your side. What do you mean, sorry? I did them on my side. I'm going to try them on your side. Damn, you're going to have to come down. OK, I hope between us we've got a decent memory. OK, you are you there? It's okay, I have got them all on this side now. <clears throat> I'm calling the lift, hang on. I've got to tell you, by the way, I'm sorely tempted to jump on the lift because there's something above it. I'll show you later, but there may be a secret here. I actually thought about that myself. <laughs> I'm sure I can see another switch. So, I'll show you it. Hello, I see you. Hello. Now, I'll go on the other side, because I kind of remember what they are, but uh, you can tell me as well. Start with the first one over here. OK, so... Uh... I'll tell you to keep going, and I'll tell you when to stop. OK, so it's like a, a V, a sideways V with a circle in it. Yeah, I know what it looks like, so we're OK with that. Oh, I forgot, I have to turn the damn thing, stop. Oh, of course! It, you won't get that on the top, you'll just have to keep going until you get the second one. Keep going! Stop! Okay, second one, circle with lines through it. Should we... Uh... Uh, actually, that's what you've got on, on the other side of this. Interesting. Huh. So what, we just carry on as we were? This is awkward. I, yeah, um... Yeah, go on. mistake sorry my mistake we're trying for that one keep going stop a minute I'm not recognizing any of these
Wait! This is awkward. Hey, weird question. Uh, did you pull a switch in that room over there? Which room? Not sure why. Sorry, come again? Not sure if I pulled it, why? Because I just did, and it made a weird sound, so I think I've changed something. Okay, we'll have another look at these. What did you just say then? It's not there. Uh, I still don't really grasp this puzzle, or at least this, this new iteration of. I'm going up again in the uh, in the uh, lift, okay? Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. The gate's open. Oh, lovely. Uh, well, I will... And now it isn't. Wait. Hang on. Go to the gate. Yeah? I'm turning the wheel. The wheel doesn't... The lift. I went to the gate. Gee, thanks, Mum. I think you just dead. <laughs> Which one are you? I'm the one who was just lifting the bloody gate. The one who came up the lift to, you know, say goodbye. I think this is a cut scene that was expected, but... <laughs> oh, my God! Am I supposed to Gee. leave you behind? Thanks. <laughs> I don't think there was any way around that. I think someone has to be left behind. There's, there's no... That is what weird. A, what a fun game. Yeah, wasn't that great, but I left you behind. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it's fine. I went to the gate, the game, went through it, that was it. Well, yeah, that's the thing. I, I thought I'd turn the wheel because there was nothing else for me to do while I waited. And I thought, oh, well, no, I may as well let you out and then see how to get me through. But that just ends the game. That was funny. Oh, it was great. I loved that. But how Ooh. weird was that that I left you behind? I can't get over that. <laughs> OK, guys, thanks for being with me in this marathon um, episode of We Were Here Too. We had so much fun, we had to keep playing. So... Uh, have a go yourself. If you've seen it, you know you know the way through it. Say goodbye.
Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye now.